everyone, it's Olivia here from Lumi's Online Intuition and today is day 11 of my 25 days to Best Math Maths grade series and today we are doing both grade 4 and grade 9 nth term. So as always, we'll do some example questions first, then on to exam questions. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, first question then. Here are the first five terms of a sequence. 7, 14, 11, 8 and 5. Find the next term of this sequence. Okay, so first thing we need to do is let's figure out exactly what this difference is. So between 17 and 14, it's 14, 15, 16, 17, so that's 3. 14 and 11 is also 3. We're taking 3 away, so minus 3, minus 3. It's also going to be minus 3. That's also going to be minus 3. So take 3 away from 5, you're going to land on 2. And then the nth term of a different sequence is 10n squared plus 5. So what this nth term means here is essentially it's a term by term um, sequence. Right? So it tells you what's happening term by term from the first term to the second term to the third term with n being the number of the term you're looking at. So in this case, 17 will be the first term, 14 seconds, the 11 third, etc, etc. So what they want us to find then is the fifth term of uh, the fifth term yeah, of this sequence here. So what we're going to do is put n equal to 5 in this case. And we're going to get 10 lots of 5 squared plus 5. So I have to use brackets if you don't want to. I just like brackets. I think it makes it look a bit neater. Then just put in like a time sign. But you can put a time sign if you really want to. And then let's deal with this. Uh, brackets first with the power. So 5 squared, that's 25 times 10. That's 250. And then plus 5, that is 255. And that would be your answer. Next up then, here are the first five terms of an arithmetic sequence. Minus 3, 1, 5, 9 and 13. Find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence. Okay, so for nth term, what you always need to find first is the difference between each of the terms. So difference between this one, you are adding 4 to get from minus 3 to 1. That's going to be plus 4. You're also adding 4 to get from 1 to 5. To get from 5 to 9, you're adding 4. And to get from 9 to 13, you're also adding 4. So then that becomes the number in front of the n in your nth term. Because the nth term is always a number times n plus or minus another number. Right? This is going to be then 4n. And then what you need to do is figure out, okay, how do I get from the 4n sequence to the sequence I have here? So the 4n sequence would have a first term of putting 1 into here of 4. Right, it would go 4 and then putting n is 2, that'd be 8, n is 3, we thought 8 is 12, etc. etc. So then we need to figure out how do I get from 4 to minus 3. So I take away 4 to get to 0, and then another 3 to get to minus 3, that's going to leave me taking away 7 in total. And that is always the way it goes. So you find the first difference between each of these numbers, that becomes the number in front of the n, then how you get from this number to the first term, that's going to be the second number. And there we are, moving on. So the nth term of a different arithmetic sequence is 2n minus 3. Arithmetic just means that you're adding or subtracting the same amount every time to get from the first term to the second term to the third term. Like in this case, you're adding 4 every time. That is an arithmetic sequence, that's all. So is 101 a term in this sequence? Show how you get your answer. So if 101 is a term in the sequence, that's going to mean that n is a whole number when it equals 101. So what you do there is 2n minus 3 equals 101. Because, let's have a think, because this is the first term, right? So if we put 1 into here, we're going to get minus 3, right? So 4n minus 7 equals minus 3. If we dealt with that to get n on its own, we would then get uh, n is 1, right? You would add that over there to get um. 4n equals 4, and then divide by n, n is 1. Whole number, the first term. So we make it equal to it to then figure out what n is going to be. If it's a whole number, it's in the sequence. If it's not a whole number, it's not in the sequence. You can't have like the two and a half term, you know? So we add that over there. We then get 2n equals 104. We then divide that down there to get n is equal to 52. So it is a term in the sequence, and as I should fact, it is the 52nd term in the sequence. And there we are. 
Okay, one more bit of practice then on the word five ones. So here are the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence, four, 11, 18, and 25. Write down an expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence. So what is the difference between four and 11? You add seven. What was the difference between 11 and 18? You also add seven. The difference between eight and 25 is also plus seven. So seven then, as, we, as it did before, becomes the number in front of the n. And then how do I get from seven to the first term, which is four? I take away three. And that is how you find nth term. Always the same, easy peasy. So then let's go on to then grade nine. Okay, so this is a grade nine quadratic sequence. So here are the first five terms of a quadratic sequence. Five, 11, 19, 29, and 41. Find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of this sequence. So the only reason it's grade nine is not particularly difficult. It's just the case of it being a lot of steps, right? It's one of those grade nines where it's just loads and loads of steps. Not all the steps in particular on their own are too tricky. It's just a case of remembering all of them. That makes it grade nine. So what we do first is, or what I always do, is I always rewrite the list of numbers just below it. So I can write it without having to like write over the question because I don't really like doing that. Okay, and then we need to figure out what the difference is. So what's the difference between these two? That's going to be 6, right? So 5 to 11, that's 6. And then that difference between those two is going to be 8. Between these two is going to be 10. Between these two is going to be 12 right? Adding on a different number every time. So it's not normal nth term like we see it, because there's no numbers to put in front of n now, because they're all different, right? So which one will we pick? We don't know. What we do instead is we take the second difference from here. What's the difference then between the difference, essentially? That's going to be 2, and 2 again, and 2 again. All pluses, we're adding 2 every time. And then what you do there is you then half this number you divide it by two whatever you get here you half it and that's what becomes the term in front of the n squared because four quadratic sequences the nth term always is a number with n squared plus or minus a number with n and then plus or minus another number right so that's then going to become this bit here so we're then going to have one n squared or just n squared either one and then what we do is we take out this quadratic bit. So we don't really want it to be quadratic. We want to find the, le the last bit, which is like just the linear sequence, right? The n bit plus a number, right? So what we do there is we remove this from our original sequence. So I then always write out my OG again, my original sequence, which is 5, 11, 19, 29, and 41. I then write out whatever sequence I've got here. So in this case, it's just 1 n squared. Could be 2, could be 3, whatever number it is there, you write out that sequence. So you put 1 into here, 1 squared, 1, 2 squared, 4, 3 squared, 9, um, 4 squared is 16 and 5 squared is 25 and then you take that out you take out the quadratic a bit so what that means is you subtract these two so 5 minus 1 that is 4 11 minus 4 that is 7 um, 19 minus 9 that is 10 29 minus 16 that is whatever that is 13 and then 41 minus 25 that is 16 and then from here all you need to do is find this the nth term of this so the regular nth term what we were doing in the last couple of questions right so just the regular nth term for this bit so then first difference that's plus 3 that's plus 3 that's plus 3, and that's plus 3. So that then forms 1n squared plus 3n. Then how do I get from 3 to this term? I add 1. And that is your quadratic nth term. So to recap, we found the first difference of this sequence. We then found the second difference of the sequence, and we halved it. Okay, so we found the first difference, second difference, and we halved it. I then wrote out the original and then whatever n squared I found, this this was 1, because half of 2 is 1. And then I took them away. Took away them all, and then worked out just the nth term of this new sequence I had here. Stuck them all together, and that is how you find quadratic nth term. Okay, next up then, here are the first five terms of a quadratic sequence. 2, 10, 22, 38, and 58. Find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of this sequence. Okay, so I'll talk to you the method again. 
Then in the last question too, same method here, same method all the time for a quadratic sequence. It's quite long, I know, it's got to learn it all. It's always the same, it's just a method, case of learning the method, right? Hence the, <laughs> the point of this series. So, first thing we do is let's write out this again so that I don't have to write over the question. 22, 38 and 58. And let's work out the first difference. So that's going to be plus 8. That's plus 12. That's going to be plus 16, and that is plus 20. Okay, then the second difference, which is then going to be plus 4, plus 4, and plus 4. Half this to get 2, so that's then going to be 2n squared. And then write out our original sequence, our OG, which is 2, 10, 22, 38, and 58. And then our 2n squared sequence, essentially the sequence we had last time just doubled essentially. So 1 squared is 1, double it, 2. 2 squared is 4, double it, 8. 3 squared is 9, double it, 18. 4 squared is 16, um, double it, 32. And 5 squared is 25, double it is 50. We then take these away to then get left with nothing. And then 10 minus 8 is 2, 22 minus 18 is 4. 4, 38 minus 32 is 6, and then 58 minus 50 is 8. And then just the nth term of this sequence, that's a difference of 2 and of 2 and of 2 and of 2, so that then makes plus 2n. Then how do I get from 2 to nothing? I take away 2. And that is how you do quadratic nth terms. And now on to exam questions. Okay, first exam question then. We have an AQA June 2017 paper one question. It's multiple choice, make it a bit easier. But yeah, pause it, have a go, see how you get on. Okay, then so question four. Here is a sequence, 90, 82, 74, 66, and 58. Circle the expression for the nth term of the sequence. So, Let's write this out again, so I'll have to write over the question. 90, 82, 74, 66, and 58. Hello then, let's do the difference. So the difference between that is take away 8. This is also take away 8, take away 8, and take away 8. It's got to be minus 8n, right? Then how do we get from minus 8 to 90? Gosh, so we need to add 8 to get to 0, then add another 90 to get to 90. So that's going to then be plus 90. Eight. So, which one is that? So, it's going to be this one here. It's written slightly differently to how I've written it, right? But it's got a positive 98, as I do, and a negative 8n, like I have. And then we are, that's question four. Okay, next question then. It's another AQA question, another AQA multiple choice question, actually. So, AQA November 2017, paper three. So, pause it, have a go, see how you get on. Okay, then question three. The first four terms of a sequence are minus 10, minus 8, minus 6, and minus 4. Circle the expression for the nth term of the sequence. So let's write out the sequence again so I don't have to write over the question. Minus 4. And then between each of these, I am going to add 2. Right, because I'm getting less negative. I'm going towards 0, so I'm adding 2. That's going to be then 2n. Then how do I get from 2 to minus 10? I minus 2 to get to 0, then another 10 to get to minus 10, so I'm going to be taking away 12. So I'm going to get then 2n minus 12, which is that one there. And there we are. Okay, an Ed Excel question this time without the aid of multiple choice. Can tell I don't have multiple choice? So Ed Excel, November 2020, paper 1. So pause it, have a go, see how you get on. Okay, and then question 1. The first five terms of an arithmetic sequence are 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13. Write down an expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence. So these are all plus 3, right? 1 to 4, 4 to 7, 7 to 10 and 10 to 13 is all plus 3, so that's going to be then 3n, and then 3 to 1 is minus 2. Easy peasy. Okay, next up then, grade 9, quadratic nth term. So we've got AQA June 2017, paper 2 here. So I'll let you pause it, have a go, see how you get on. Feel free to now look back in the, the first part of the video if you do have help, because it is a lot of steps, I'm aware. Um, but I'll see how you get on anyway, so pause it, see how you do. Okay, then question 22, work out an expression for the nth term of the quadratic sequence. 2, 17, 40, 71, etc, etc. Give your answer in the form an squared plus bn plus c, where a, b and c are, are constants. 
fair enough that's fun we're gonna leave it in anyway so thank you very much <laughs> so let's write out our um uh, term again so we've got 2 17 40 and 71 and then the difference between these is golly gosh 15 it's rather large isn't it 15 and then between 17 and 40 what is that three to get 20 so that's plus 23 and then 40 56 uh, 40 50 70 that's 31 golly gosh what's in between these two guys and then 15 to 23 that's five seven eight and then these ones that's going to be seven plus eight yeah we are plus eight every time so that's going to then half this get four n squared and then let's write out our original sequence so then we get a g which is 2 17 40 and 71 then our 4 n squared sequence which is going to be 1 squared is 1 times 4 is 4 2 squared is uh, 4 times 4 is 16 3 squared is 9 times 4 which is 36 and 4 squared which is 4 uh, 4 squared which is 16, 16 times 4 which is 64, uh, I think so, yeah 64, and then take those away, so 2 minus 4 minus 2, 17 minus 16 is 1, 40 minus 36 is 4, 71 minus 64 that's going to be 7, okay and then in term of this sequence here, so we're going to add 3 to each of these aren't we, add 3, add 3 and add 3 so that's going to make it plus 3n and then to get from 3 to minus 2 I'm going to take 3 to get to 0 then another 2 to get to minus 2 so that's going to be then minus 5 and that is our final answer okay and then last exam question then we have aqa november 2018 paper 1 um so pause it have a go see how you get on Okay, then question 21. Here are the first four terms of a quadratic sequence. 11, 26, 45, and 68. Work out an expression for the nth term. So first off then, what is the first difference between these numbers? This one's going to be plus 15. This one's going to be plus uh, 19. And then this one's going to be plus 23. Testing me today with these numbers, aren't they? 23. And then second difference, that's going to be 15, 18, 19, that's plus 4, and that's also plus 4, grad. So then half that, you get 2n squared. So then write out our OG sequence, which is 11, 26, 45, and 68. And then a 2n squared sequence, which is 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18, and then 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32. And then take those away. 11 minus 2, that is 9. 26 minus 8, that is 18. Um, 45 minus 18, that is 27. And 68 minus 32, that is 36. Okay, and then the nth, square, nth term of this is each of these, as we may be able to notice, is plus 9. So then you get plus 9n, and then how do we get from 9 to 9? We add nothing, because we're already at it, aren't we? So then you just leave it blank, so you can put plus naught, but no point plus naught, is there? So there, that is it, and that is all the questions. And there we have it, that was the 11 of my 25 days to better math grade series on nth term. I hope you enjoyed, if you did feel free to you know, leave a like, subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff, it very much helps. And tomorrow we're going to be looking at transformations, fun, so hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.